Especially when she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. We're talking all about the best of Sephora collection. I have been saying this for months and months now. Do not sleep on Sephora collection, okay? Sephora has some gems and we're talking about them. The first thing here, Sephora Micro Smooth Powders. These are not new, however, they have launched new shades. This one is in the shade Almond 58. Yep, 58. And super comparable to MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. They literally are the same thing. Save yourself some cash, get this one. It works out beautifully. I use this on myself. I have these in my client kit. I love setting up under the eyes with these, or let's say if I have put a little bit of translucent on some, translucent, a little bit of translucent powder on someone's face, and I need to just kind of kick off a little bit, bring more color back to the skin. I love using these for that. Um, if you have dry skin, mature skin, whatever the case may be, like these are just a true staple. And then something else along in the Sephora Micro Smooth line, this palette is bay. I have been wearing this palette out. So this is the Sephora Micro Smooth palette in Capti Captivate. Yes, Captivate. Oh my goodness. So I have this on right now. I have on this as the bronzer situation. And then for blush, I have on these two. And then this, I didn't put this on today. I meant to put it on, but this is a beautiful highlight. I love this palette. Now, my gripe about this, they need to do another one because this is not deep enough. I feel like if you are my skin tone or lighter, it'll be fine. But if you're deeper than me, I cannot 100% say that this would warm your face up. But I love this palette. They did a fantastic job with this. And then the Sephora Collection Bronzer, okay? This one in Ibiza. So this is number six, and this is the deepest one as well. I love, love, love this bronzer. It is warm, but it's not too warm. Sometimes when brands do bronzers for black women, deeper complexions, they can sometimes go too red to the point that when we put it on, it looks like a blush. No, no, no. This is the perfect amount of warm with the perfect amount of brown. It is just stunning. Again, this is the deepest shade. They could afford to go deeper. They can do it. Come on, Sephora Collection. I know you got it in you. I'm rooting for you. I know you can do it. So I love this bronzer, and it's a matte bronzer. It doesn't have any type of shimmer or anything to it. Some other complexion products here. This is Sephora Colorful Blush. This one is in the shade Oh My Gosh. This is in my client kit, and I love using this on my deep skin girls. Oh my lord. On um, one of my bikini competitors, I put this on. Oh lord have mercy. It looks so beautiful on the skin. And I know sometimes it looks intimidating. I don't know why a lot of black women are just intimidated by blush, but y'all, blush pulls the look together. Like if I don't have blush on, I feel like, okay, like I'm not, I, it just brings the look life and it ties it together. So this is in the shade, oh my gosh. I have no clue if this is even still available on Sephora. If it is not available, I am sorry. Please don't be mad at me, but I had to mention it. So this also lives in my client kit. This is the Sephora Pro Face Palette. As you can see, you, you can totally see why this is in my client kit. So we have these beautiful shimmery highlighters here. These blushes are stunning. These contour brown bronzer situations. So for my skin tone, I use Jet Setter. Um, Epic is too deep for me, so therefore I wouldn't be able to use it, but this is just a beautiful palette to have. Now, I think this is fantastic if you are a makeup artist. If you were a consumer, you're just kind of dabbling into makeup. I don't know that this is necessary for you, but it, like I said, if you're a makeup artist or if you're a makeup junkie, yes, sis, go off. I hope this is still available. I have a feeling it's not available anymore. And if it isn't, I'm sorry, but I could not not mention that palette. Now we've got some, let's see. Pencils here, Sephora Wink It Felt Tip Liner. I've been using this liner forever. It is waterproof. It stays on forever until you wash it off. 
It is stunning. It is so, so dark. It's easy to use. I like felt tip liner just simply because I found on myself it is easier to use. Now, when I'm working on clients, absolutely not. That is gross. If you are a makeup artist and you're using felt tip liners on your clients, you need to shut your business down because that is horrible sanitation. Like you can't sanitize this. So that's why when I work on clients, I use Inglot gel liner and I can just pull out what I want on the back of my hand and then I can do my clients like that. But just working on yourself, I love this. I love this. On myself, I prefer felt liner because it's quicker. You know what I mean? I don't have to do the whole dipping thing. Like I'm lazy sometimes y'all, sorry. This lip liner, Sephora Collection Lip Liner. This one is in the shade Molasses. First of all, this brown lippy, I'm on a brown lippy movement right now, okay? Brown lips for the rest of the year, period. All year long, 365, it's popping. But what I love about this pencil is it's more so of a gel formula because you know if you're using a traditional pencil, e even I get it a lot when I'm um, lining clients lips with just a traditional MAC lip liner, sometimes it can skip if their lips aren't all the way hydrated sometimes. I've noticed this, um, I always put a lip gloss on clients, but some people's lips are just dry and that's okay. Might be a little be like blah, blah, blah. might be a little bit dehydrated, but this, it just glides on baby. Super, super easy. And the pigmentation, fire, 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 fire. Next up, this is the Sephora Collection Bright Future Concealer. Now I wasn't sure about this, okay? This is one that I've been testing out and I have it on today. The consistency, it threw me off because it is a gel-like formula. However, it glides on very smooth, it's thin. The only thing was it was a learning curve. I realized for some reason with this, when I put it on before blending it out, I kind of had to let it dry down a little bit because when I just put it on and start to blend it out, it was almost like I was blending it away. But if you just let it dry down for a few minutes and then you start blending out, Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I use the shade number 15, Dolce de Leche. And then last but not least, I re-upped on this because mine was crusty. This is Sephora's cream. I've been wearing it, didn't even take the plastic all the way off, Jesus. <laughs> this is the Sephora Collection cream, cream lipstick. I don't know what the exact name of it is. I've had this for this is probably my third year buying this, but this is in the shade Pretty Auburn. I'm trying to find what the exact name of this is. I can't find the exact name, but y'all have seen me wear this plenty of times before. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw I had it on the other day, but that, woo, just a beautiful, warm, like a brown burgundy-ish lipstick. Yes, ma'am every single day, all day long. These are more so of a cream based, so it's not like an ABH lipid lipstick where it just dries you out and you feel like gross crusties on your lips. It's cream based, which means it is a little bit more comfortable. Yes, it does dry down. Yes, it is a liquid lipstick. So we all know liquid lipsticks, I don't care what brand you get. By hour four, they're just not the most comfortable things in the world. However, this one, I like it and I just love the shade and they have a bunch of other pretty colors as well. Alrighty, so that's gonna wrap up the best of Sephora collection. I think next, cause we've already done best of Elf, we've done best of Charlotte Tilbury, best of Sephora collection. Maybe we should do Mac next. Mac, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Thank y'all so, so much for all the love and support. I appreciate you and love each and every one of you. You know the deal, keep it simple, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.